Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the brand new limited time Golden Tate. Before we hop into it, though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So the subscribe button for notifications, we post daily. Madden 21 content and also do not forget to hit that like button and I will leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description We are live almost every single night over on Twitch. So if you haven't come through yet I recommend you do and as always shout out to my guys Donovan shout out to Donovan and shout out to Kiki for commenting the emojis on the last two videos All right, so here is Golden Tate He's got 98 speed, 96 jumping, 99 catching, 96 catching traffic, 96 spec catch, 99 short, 99 mid, 93 deep. The card is 510, 197 slot archetype and has 99 acceleration. And with full play fake and full sprinter, Golden Tate does go to a 99 overall. So last night when EA teased this card, um, I did see a lot of L's, you know, why Golden Tate, this dude's washed up, all that stuff about Golden Tate. But this card is going to be a top tier receiver in the game. Uh, tomorrow, you know, with Team Diamonds 2 coming out, Golden Tate will probably get washed out pretty good. But um, this card is going to be top tier, kind of just a more well-rounded version of Santana Moss. Um, Stat-wise, I have no idea how he's going to play, but looking at these stats, Golden Tate is better than Santana Moss. Um, they are the same height. They're going to feel exactly the same, um, except Golden Tate is a better route runner. If we head down here, Golden Tate does have 94 carrying compared to, I think, I'm pretty sure Santana Moss has like 73 carrying. So um, this is a big upgrade as a ball carrier, in my opinion. The COD is there on um, the juke move, the break tackle. This guy's going to be very solid. But I know just because it is Golden Tate, people are going to overlook him. But this is definitely a top tier card in Mutt right now. And he could easily slip into that top five. But like I said, um, there's going to be so many new receivers coming out tomorrow that I guarantee Golden Tate does get washed out pretty well. Um, but yeah, I already went over the after the catch stats and stuff like that. Um, and four abilities. He's a slot archetype, and you know why we love slot archetypes so much. Two AP slot omatic, one AP slot apprentice, and two AP route tech on these guys. So in the X Factor slot today, we're rocking with Ankle Breaker. In the in the first slot, here's what he gets. Yeah, I believe he gets all the good stuff still. Still gets slot omatic, route tech, um, energizer. Yeah, slot apprentice. So all the abilities that are really important, um, he can get in all in all four ability slots. But we say we're rocking with route technician mainly because I'll probably use him in more than just a slot. But if you're going to run him just in the slot, also does get Playmaker 2 for 4 AP, which is a W2. So he gets a lot of really good abilities. Yeah, he looks at everything besides joystick. So yeah, Golden Tate, this card's look, looking like a W on paper. Um, we're going to have to see how he goes out there and plays, obviously. But if you do have one of these theme teams, by the way, whether you have Giants, Eagles, Lions, or Seattle Seahawks, you've got a top tier receiver today. And most likely, the Lions and the Seahawks are probably going to end the year with two of the best receiving cores. It's looking like Roy Williams will probably get an upgrade. And also, obviously, Calvin Johnson will get that big upgrade to absolutely boost that guy up. So, the Detroit Lions theme team, they're on the rise, man. Uh, next theme team tier list, they might surprise some people, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, Golden Tate gets all these team chems. And like I said, full play fake, full sprinter. And for front up, we're rocking with the Golden Tate limited edition. Also does get his veterans and his core elite card as well. And I'm pretty sure Golden Tate did sign with a team. I'm pretty sure he signed with the Ravens. Actually, let me fact check that real quick. All right, so I just checked and no, Golden Tate did not sign into the Ravens. That is false information. It must have just been like a rumor or a uh, or like some kind of prediction. I have no idea where I saw that. It was probably on Instagram at some point. But I believe if Golden Tate does sign somewhere, EA will add the chems for him. So um, he could also, you know, add one more theme team into the mix there. But yeah, very nice stats on Golden Tate. I'm expecting pretty big things from this card. This guy is going to be compared to Santana Moss, one of my favorite cards in the game. So I'm expecting big things from Golden Tate today. But yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Game number one, and we are facing Dogman9310. Um, I did miss who he had in his top three. I have no idea. And he kicks the ball right out of bounds. Is this guy even here? Dogman, hello? We are starting this game off on offense, though. And, uh, yeah, we still have Drew Brees at quarterback. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to have Drew at QB, though, because apparently Brett Favre is coming out tomorrow. I mean, on, on sorry, not tomorrow, on Saturday, so... Uh, we're getting theme diamonds on Friday and then Brett, a, a new Brett Favre card who will probably be the best QB in the game on on, on Saturday. So the next two days in Mutt are going to be definitely meta changing. Um, and I expect that, you know, the AP change is probably coming soon too. But yeah, this is about to be a crazy uh, next couple days here in Mutt. I'm definitely looking forward to it. But let's try to get this playoff. Uh, motion Golden Tate. I should be able to get this off. Uh, he's definitely playing zone and we get it off. And we're going to hit Golden here early. Bang. Golden Tate over the middle. And there we go. Golden Tate. Uh, I mean, he's, he's going to have the 99 route running. We all know that. This guy's playing cover three. 
We're on our own 42. Not really on a hash, but still going to send it. It, is, it, it. Like against the cover three, it's not going to work as well. But I kind of trust Golden, man. Golden might just be a demon. Yep, and we peel off and Breeze get it there. Breeze throws a dot to Golden Tate. Two throws and a touchdown for Golden Tate. Yeah. And guys, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about uh, Team Diamonds number two. They did reveal two new cards, which is Dree Archer and Des Bryant. Apparently, they're going to reveal the rest of the cards tonight. Um, if the rest of the... Oh, he does have the... Uh, oh, my... Okay, Golden Tate does have the same animation as, as like, T.Y. Hill and Antantana Moss. This Golden Tate card right now might be top five. Deadass might be top five. He's feeling like a... Like, look, looking at the stats, he's better than Santana and feels just like Santana. So, he might... I mean, he has to be over Santana, right? He has to be. This guy's been playing great so far. All right, here we go. Game two, we are facing Ned... PDA1. Ned PDA1. There is his top three. He's got an Eagles theme team. Hopefully he has. If he's got Golden Tate, that'd be a dub on an Eagles theme team, man. Because even with 125 and a 50, you're getting a 99 speed, 99 acceleration slot receiver. That has the after the catch like you guys just saw. But what I was saying before yeah, I was rudely interrupted is that apparently they are going to reveal more cards tonight, whether it's on Twitter. I don't think there's going to be a live stream. If there is a live stream, someone let me know because I will live stream that. But I don't think there is. Um, if they do reveal every single card on Twitter, I will drop a tier list tonight um, on these cards. If, if they reveal everyone tonight. Um, we're probably not going to know who the master is tonight, but if they reveal everyone, I will do a tier list tonight. If not, there probably won't be a tier list because most likely I won't probably have too much time tomorrow making... I mean, there's going to be 32 top tier cards dropping tomorrow, so I'm not sure how much time I'm going to really have because um, I'll be making gameplays probably for around 12 or 15, 12 to 14 hours tomorrow. So uh, And also an irate your team stream too. So yeah, we'll be do we'll, we'll be definitely we'll definitely be busy tomorrow, but hopefully they reveal all the cards tonight. Um, if they do, like I said, just expect a tier list. Just really expect a tier list because um I haven't really done a tier list like this in a while, but we really haven't had content that really calls for a tier list like this before. So I'm gonna hit B fast. Uh, we may have actually had him. I don't know what he was playing. I didn't want to risk it. Um, I mean, still trying to you know just feed Golden Tate because it is his gameplay. But this is against Team Team Asante and those guys, and yeah, Golden Tate is cooking. Be ready for that, man. And we're going to hit Golden Tate. Oh, no. Breeze just sailed it. Maybe it's better that we are selling Breeze. Breeze just... That's just... That Breeze literally just sailed that. That really did surprise me. I've never seen Breeze do that. This guy's a D-lineman user, so we're going to have middle of the field open all day. And that juke animation on a receiver is devastating. All right. He's a user pass versus demon, though. We got to remember this. Oh, he dropped Perry in the coverage. The actual made a play. And Perry does make the tackle. I thought he was going to break off there with Perry. Um, if he's user pass rushing, then I should actually have Golden Tate open. And he is. Okay, Golden's going to be open. He's going to have room too, and Breeze did not sail it. See, this what I mean. This, like that, I mean, that probably, I probably should have stopped and go that guy. I thought he was maybe going to click on. He never did. I should have stopped and go that guy. That's on me. All right, so here we go on the red zone. And you know, if you've been watching the channel for a minute, you know I'm one of the worst red zone Madden players to ever do it. So I'm going to try a little rollout corner here to Golden. Will this work? I doubt it, but you never really know. Oh, it's a tough... Th oh, why'd he stop? There's no good tackle in bounds, Golden. And we have Golden Tate open. Get it there, Drew. Let's go. Touchdown, Golden Tate. Oh, my. Oh, this has been an absolute roller coaster. Game two has been one for the ages. I've thrown two picks with Drew on the in the red zone. And then we get our own interception there with Ed Reed. And then Drew under pressure is throwing a strike, man. I that's why I like Golden Tate and like Santana Moss, guys like that. Goes right to Golden Tate, and Neville Hewitt continues the streak. Okay, we actually might get a pick six. Oh, no, that, that is Mike Vick. And, yeah, one second. No, zero seconds on the clock. And we're going to go down right there. But Neville, not before. This guy, we do stop this guy from getting his big three. And it's going to be his ball to the half. But if, I mean, there's Neville Hewitt just there again. But if not, then there's no, there's, I, there's no way. I can't justify. Oh, no, Neville just fumbled. Neville just went for the journal and fumbled, man. And now this guy just actually got a big gain out of it. But Neville wants it back. Give him a second opportunity. Let's go, Neville. Back-to-back -back plays. Two Neville interceptions. Do not throw his way. He's bouncing back. That's what Neville does, man. Like, that's why he's kind of like a different kind of player. Because, yeah, he may have given him the ball back. But that's because he wanted to... He, he knew he, he knew he was going to get that pick. He wanted to boost his own stats. So that's exactly why he he, he kind of just gave it right back to him because he was so confident in his ability to you know, pick him off again. So, okay, he's in cover two. We should have going right there at the middle. Oh, God, Breeze! No, Drew gets it there. Oh, my, Drew Breeze, you demon. This guy just, I don't even know if he knows what he's doing, but he's changing up the play calls and it is throwing me off. That's why sometimes I feel like it's harder to face like a player who doesn't know what he's doing because if you don't, if he doesn't know what he's doing, you have no idea what he's doing. And there's just no tendencies whatsoever and you can't have throwing a blind one. Maybe it's just better to 
Dude, maybe that 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 would be a theory I need to play, which is run coach suggestions all weekend league, maybe. I might be a move I have to try to do. Oh, I want to cut that back. His his spin animation is very slow. I don't remember what his spin stat is. Probably wasn't that bad, but I'm gonna run this thing in. We're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and win this game. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Golden Tate gameplay. And this card is definitely a top receiver in this game right now. Uh, like I said earlier, most likely he's going to be overlooked just based off being a Golden Tate card. But the route running's there, the catching's there, the speed's there, the archetype's there. He's great after the catch. Um, do not sleep on Golden Tate if you are a guy who's looking for a slot receiver or a route runner receiver or, or a cheap route tech or a cheap slot omatic. Uh, Golden Tate, um, if he drops into that like 300k price range, I probably don't get this guy. He's the real deal. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably be washed out by tomorrow's content, also this weekend's content. But uh, this card is a major W. I honestly cannot recommend him enough. Um, I love this Golden Tate card. But if you are still watching, let's comment. Let's comment some kind of emoji having to do with gold. Is there some kind of gold emoji? If there is a gold emoji, drop that down in the comment section uh, for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.